Sebastian Bourdais topped free practice one at Petit Le Mans for Cadillac Racing, going less than five hundredths of a second quicker than Porsche's Matthew Yamane. After a damp start to the day, the track was drying throughout, with the times really ramping up in the final few minutes. Bourdais ended up beating Yamane, with Matt Campbell third in the sister Porsche, and the wheel and Cadillac fourth. The 24 BMW was fifth, ahead of Tom Blomqvist in the 60 Acura, with the 25 Beamer and Wayne Taylor Acura, also within a second of Seabass. The big talking point in GTP was tyre warm-up, with Lawrence Vantor having a couple of very scary moments on outlaps, one which brought out a red flag after contact with the Performance Tech LMP3. If I was a GTP strategist looking at how slow they were going to get up to speed, I'd commit to not changing tyres on a final green flag stop. The time loss is simply going to be way too much. And also, probably a bit of a safety hazard, especially if it's very cold in the night hours. On the whole, with not much running, there isn't much to report from GTP and Free Practice 1. No title contender has stood out above another so far. The restricted track time means plenty of drivers didn't get a go behind the wheel. Action Express and Proton Competition both only used one. It was the three title contenders who ended up 1-2-3 in LMP2, with Ben Hanley going quickest for CrowdStrike by APR. In LMP3 and GTD, it was Junior 3 Racing and Turner Motorsport who topped the times. Coincidentally, the last two cars to join the session. Jules Gounon went quickest in GTD Pro for WeatherTech Racing, heading Mirko Bortolotti, although Bill Orbelin and Jan Halen managed to split them in normal GTD cars. With damp conditions on track, the teams who only needed to start the race to win a championship all decided to play it safe and do very limited running. That's Riley in LMP3, Vassar Sullivan in GTD Pro, and Inception Racing in GTD Bronze. Smart move, although I expect we'll see more of them later. The big incident of the session befell this Chetelar Racing Ferrari, as Antonio Fuoco went off at Turn 1 and left the rear needing a lot of attention. Running continues at Road Atlanta with three more hours of free practice today, including that critical night practice, ahead of qualifying tomorrow. The good news is no more rain is expected today, which is what the teams want given the race itself is also set to be dry. Both practices are live worldwide on IMSA Radio, with the cameras starting to roll with qualifying. Who's your favourite for Petit Le Mans? Please let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not press that like button and subscribe to the channel? It really helps me out.